Hey Alpha Fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today on Alpha Commission, of course, we're going to just go over the uh, chop on the uh, chart, and you do see that uh, we do have a relatively green day yesterday for uh, altcoins, uh, which were taking the consolidation of Bitcoin in stride and just uh, allowing them to... Uh, get a little bit of a momentum themselves after uh, Bitcoin had kind of stolen the uh, show. You do see a mixed day on stocks as, of course, uh, Google and Apple and some of these uh, high uh, cap uh, technology stocks are down. That would suppress uh, Bitcoin and some of the uh, uh, risk on assets uh, quite a bit. Uh, in the news, of course, we do have uh, some type of uh, GDP um, estimate, and uh, it is positive. So if you're uh, against the uh, recession and you're pro-inflation, then uh, you got some uh, good news today. If you're, uh, you know, uh, you know, anti-inflation and pro-recession because you want to kill inflation, then you got some bad news. So again, like this is going to be uh, just a war between uh, the inflation and the, uh, you know, recession interest. That's what stagflation is. There's no good answer. No matter what the numbers come in, uh, we are in a very awkward spot on the charts uh, guys uh, Friday uh, tomorrow is going to be the uh, big day for the uh, PCE data which may give some uh, guidance to uh, you know the Federal Reserve in terms of how aggressive to be in terms of uh, increasing interest rates uh, guys uh, just to, to go over briefly because this is a, a short episode I do want to just uh, take a look at our support and resistance you can't see that we had a nice pop and then we had a little chop through this area, and now we're just kind of having a, a plop, right? So pop, chop, plop, and we're just sitting pretty on this kind of third level that we have carved up here. One, two, three levels perfectly in a line with my support and resistance. If we look at some um, just kind of a simplified view, you can see that we got out of this uh, choppy area over here. And so we're no longer doing this, guys, which I've been talking about for weeks. We are now sitting on top of it. And hey, that's great news, okay? So the guys who are saying, it's a trap and everything is scary. We're all going to fall to hell. And, you know, they're faking you out and all of that stuff. Hey, guys. Just sit down for a second and take a look at your support and your resistance. You're sitting at support. If you break down, fine, we can talk about that stuff. Maybe we're going to go to the bottom down here around 18,600. But guys, as long as you're sitting on the top of this channel, you have the chance to pop up, right, to the next levels, right? These type of things. So uh, why are you guys all being super bearish right here? Come on. Uh, get with it. You know, all the uh, dramatic titles on YouTube and all the, uh, you know, weird cries on Twitter. It's just it's just really annoying, guys. So, look, this is the picture that we're doing, okay? Uh, here's a little bit more nuanced of the little layers that we have going on. Our next target is uh, maybe even 22,000, okay? 22,500, maybe. Uh, we are just kind of stuck in this little zone. But, hey, we were stuck in this zone for weeks and weeks and weeks. You know, give us a little chance chance here okay that's all I'm saying all right guys so uh, let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at the uh, you know uh, just do a little bit of a, a recap of what we were looking at last time here was the signals that I gave you look we're still uber uh, bullish right there's nothing wrong going on here in fact we didn't even drop down below my uber bullish level right so we're still uh, very bullish if we hang on to these levels this was by the uh, past standard of course I do have to update these these are last episode okay so just to pay attention to that if we go ahead and look at my momentum pools, of course, this is the one that we did uh, spring off of, right? We got a nice, beautiful spring off of that. This was my two to five day projection. Of course, uh, we never violated it. And so we just continued to spring. Uh, then we had uh, this one up here, which was our next stepping stone. Boom, guys, we got right on top of my next stepping stone. So first stepping stone, boom, second stepping stone, boom, 
right? So these guys, uh, guys, these alpha momentum pools, they are no joke. You want to pay attention when I'm drawing these alpha momentum pools. They uh, are uh, significant. And even if one or two of them might miss or whatnot, uh, guys, they are providing you with extremely good value, extremely good um, you know, references here, and I hope you appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, next two to five day uh, pool. Of course, this did suggest that we could come all the way back down here and still stay bullish over the next two to five days. And guess what? We haven't even come back to it. So are we bearish like all of the weird uh, YouTube uh, titles are saying is it a trap like all of these guys say every friggin day they say it's a trap it's a trap it's a trap it's a trap guys uh, just look at the uh, support and resistance okay just look at the uh, price action that we're doing this isn't a trap we got to the next level we're sitting on the next level if we break down we can talk about a trap until then we are sitting pretty on my uber bullish line guys pay attention to this stuff really OK, don't get all emotional in this market just because we have a little bit of a pullback. All right. Oh, no, we had a pullback to twenty thousand four hundred. Whoop de doo. We're still in the bullish zone. OK, so look, uh, I have to update uh, this thing. So uh, look, OK, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Our, our latest momentum pool is suggesting that there's some type of a breach going on. And so let's get rid of these old signals because it's time to update, right? It's time to update, guys. Uh, today, uh, we do have to contend with the fact that we were talking about uh, that, uh, you know, rising wedge on the last uh, episode. Of course, uh, the rising wedge uh, did end up breaking, okay? So I hope you appreciated the heads up that I gave you on that. It was a nice rising wedge. What do rising wedges tend to do? Break down because they represent a, a price action that's been shooting kind of parabolic, right? And so, of course, like they tend to break down. Uh, what would the measured move be for this? Uh, you know, this type of rising wedge is very uh, confusing because of the way just because of how steep it is. But, you know, let's just take some type of a measured move like this at an angle. And you could see that we could come all the way down here, right? Let's take a vertical measurement, right? Let's take a vertical measurement. And you could see we could come all the way down here. Look at this. It happens to encompass my momentum pool, okay? So, uh, you know, no matter how we uh, measure this thing, Okay, you can uh, you can consider it in a bunch of different ways. Uh, the point is, it's a bearish pattern. Uh, you know, are we going to violate that support, or are we not? Right? Are we going to violate this support zone, or are we not? That's the key point. And then, if we do violate it, are we at least able to hold kind of the center of this range, where? Um, you know, if I zoom out, uh, we did have this range here, and then we had uh, the middle of the range, which itself is uh, fairly bullish. So even if we came all the way back down here, maybe did a little flash wake, we still held on top of that. Maybe we could get back on top. You see what I'm saying? But again, guys, as long as we're holding on top of this thing, um, I'm not really worried about this next drop down because it depends on how firm this ground is. And I don't think this is a trap yet, okay? So far, this is just a uh, bullish pullback. Uh, so guys, uh, let's see. Let's look at my uh, two to five day projection. My two to five day projection does say that we could come all the way back. And guys, remember, I do I make these using three different types of momentum measured on five different time scales. Okay, so I've calculated these boxes based upon momentum on five different time scales and three different types of momentum, actually four different types of momentum because I also consider EMAs when using these things. And so I do not use support and resistance when making these momentum pools, but look at how that just very beautifully aligns with these, uh, just coincidentally aligns with these uh, support and resistances uh, that we have up here. And so, look, if we have a pullback like this, very bullish. If we uh, are able to get on top of the uh, one-day uh, momentum pool, very bullish. If we just kind of float around in this one and maybe close under it, that's very dangerous. Okay, but we do have a little bit of a buffer in the two to five day projection as long as we can get on top of it as soon as possible. Uh, you feel me, Alpha Fam? Okay, I think you guys understand. And so, uh, look... Um, let me get rid of these uh, squiggly uh, drawings there. And um, 
let's go ahead and get some new signals for you guys. So uh, just uh, considering, uh, just to make sure that you understand that we do have that rising wedge, okay? That rising wedge can break down, but um, overall, uh, what do we have going on here? Uh, here's your, uh, let's see, 18.610. Sorry, but uh, trading view moves these things around just quite a bit. Let's see. Let's go to the daily. I'm about to bring my lines closer. There we go. Now we can see it. Okay, so uh, over uh, uh, 20,975, that's your new uh, bullish level, or super bullish level. Uh, because, guys, we're already bullish, right? We've been super bullish. Like, if we have a pullback, that's pretty normal, okay? And so, uh, look, uh, bullish, if we're over 20,780, uh, we are going to still re retain our bullishness above 20,085, and we're going to have a bearish bias under 19,705, okay? Uh, we're basically going to lose all of our momentum under 18,610. And again, if we just look at uh, local price action, uh, it's kind of like, duh, like, no duh, right? Like, we can dip our toe below this line, but we don't want to really close down there. We want to pop back up, right? So, of course, we're going to stay bullish, right? We have a mid-channel down here, and so we break down under the mid-channel, and, like, we close candles underneath the mid-channel, then, yeah, it's most likely we're going to test the bottom of the channel, right? Uh, we break under... Uh, you know, the uh, bottom of that uh, channel below us, then of course we're going to lose all of our momentum to the downside and we could have a much deeper uh, fall potentially. And then of course, uh, to be uh, even more bullish than we already are, which is super bullish, then of course we do have to get over our previous price action. That stuff should be pretty uh, common sense. But again, guys, um, I derive all of my levels using uh, momentum calculations, using four different types of momentum on five different time scales. Uh, so that this can be, uh, you know, uh, as precise as possible uh, with the dynamic price action that is occurring. And so uh, what do we see right now? Uh, we are losing our bullish bias, uh, which does suggest that there could be some type of a pullback. Of course, that pullback can go all the way back down to a 20,085 without any type of concern whatsoever. OK, and we could even go as far as 19,704. And, you know, it doesn't feel good. It's very risky to be making a play in the middle of a range like that, you know, just uh, towards your bearish bias. But, uh, you know, there's still a chance that we could pop up, right? There's still a chance. And uh, so there you have it, guys. Uh, your uh, updated momentum pools uh, where uh, we could pull, we could lose everything and still retain some semblance of uh, a chance to the upside over the next uh, two to five days. But uh, in reality, we don't want to uh, violate 20,000. 86 and uh, hopefully we get on top of 20,780 as soon as possible uh, we did uh, just have a, a dip down to uh, 20,400 but again we were still within this type of a bullish zone and so the uh, bulls are still struggling to uh, hold on to that uh, we will see if we can maintain this uh, level and use it as support. Right now, I still classify it as uh, resistance. You can't see it's colored red, right? Because I do consider this to be our current resistance level. Yes, we wicked above it, but uh, we're really just battling it out, right? Going to the four hour, you can see we're just kind of chopping it out, grinding it out, and we really need to flip on top of it, right? So that's where that uh, seven. Uh, 20,780 comes from. And again, guys, like these are these uh, these levels are derived in a totally different way than how I uh, drive my support and resistances. So the fact that they're agreeing 
uh, so completely is just very reassuring that this momentum strategy that I'm uh, dry, that I'm uh, creating for you guys uh, that it uh, it's going to be uh, highly successful. So uh, we can rely on it. Okay, guys, uh, this was meant to be just a, a short uh, episode. So um, you know, just briefly, I guess I could mention that uh, we are in a bit of a contraction phase on our volatility on the four hour. Right on the daily, of course, you can see that we are continuing to expand, just getting a little bit of a hiccup. That's all. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, let's go ahead and jump all the way to the five day. Just see what the five day is doing. Uh, the five day uh, it hasn't uh, finished consolidating yet, so we don't really know what the uh, big super move is going to be. But uh, we can see that the uh, three day is screaming; it's still contracting. So there is a possibility for the three day and the five day to lead us to a downturn, right? But uh, for the most part, you can see that the two-day and the daily volatility is popping us up. And, of course, that four-hour is just having a little bit of consolidation, which, of course, you can see on the charts uh, right now. Uh, guys, uh, so we do have, uh, you know, uh, price action. We have uh, momentum. We have volatility. Of course, uh, you know, uh, our EMAs are built into that. But if you want to just check out EMAs really quickly... You can see that uh, on the daily, we're just in a powerful squeeze. We could come all the way back down to this area, to this kind of a bullish but watch out uh, level, and there'd be no problem. We could even tease out that bearish bias level as long as we just wick above it. Uh, there'd be no problem because we have the 21 and the 9 right there to uh, you know protect us. And so we do have room to do bouncing. It's just getting underneath uh, support and resistance lines. You know, it's always a war to get back above it, so we do hope to hang hang out uh, more in this area rather than in this area. Uh, if we do go ahead and take a look at the uh, four hour, I'm sure this is squeezing to the downside. Yeah, it's squeezing to the downside, but these lines are softening. And so uh, while this uh, squeeze could continue to the downside, um, you know, uh, it, it's, it doesn't look uh, super traumatic or anything like that. Again, it, this is so far just a, a healthy pullback. And then if we go ahead and check out the uh, five day, Five day, we actually are in a uh, a fairly bullish squeeze. Um, however, the uh, 21 is pointed down a little bit, uh, much to my like, uh, too much for my liking. I would. Uh, this does suggest that we might have to grind this out a little bit. And then the weekly, uh, yeah, we are starting to get into a formation where a weekly squeeze play is possible. Um, however, however, uh, we are meeting resistance at the uh, 21. Um, simple moving average, this uh, yellow line that's coming down right here, you can see we got perfectly rejected from it. And so that also suggests we might just pop back down as low as perhaps even the nine simple moving average uh, right above or right at this bearish bias. Again, guys, I don't calculate these things using uh, anything else but momentum. And so the fact that the uh, EMAs are agreeing with it, it's just uh, it's just too perfect, guys. Like they, they're all pointing to the same thing. So far, this is just a bullish pullback. Nothing to be too worried about. And, uh, um, you know, if we start to violate my uh, bearish bias zone, then uh, then we can uh, start worrying, okay? But uh, right now, we had a nice spring up. We all made a lot of money. You guys are killing it, Alpha Fam. You're doing a great job. Uh, let the market just kind of consolidate. Let it kind of just breathe after that nice pump. And uh, it, we're okay for right now, okay? So no worries. Like uh, all of these crazy, um, you know, it's a trap, it's a trap, stupid titles that, you know, just these uh, idiots keep uh, producing, you know, trying to tell you that the world is going to end. Uh, trust the price action, okay? The price action will tell you what's going on. Trust the, mom the momentum. The momentum is telling you what's going on, okay? Trust the EMAs. The EMAs are telling you what's going on. And then the volatility, yes, the volatility can be a tricky devil. It is direction neutral. It could spring us up. It could spring us down. There could be whipsaw action that just breaks our neck. But uh, that's all part of trading. That volatility is what gives you that price action, which is where we take our profits from. So uh, even in the case of volatility, we should be highly thankful. Uh, guys, uh, I guess uh, just uh, to uh, conclude this uh, video, 
around the 20 minute mark, um, we should uh, perhaps take a look at uh, you know the dollar just to see what it's up to. Of course, the dollar has been pulling back. Um, if we do just take a zoom out uh, kind of look at it, uh, you know, we probably could come all the way down to 108 tag 108 you can see there is a fair fairly good amount of support in here it was used as resistance it was used as support and so this line could be fairly significant um, if you do look at that area uh, we do seem to have uh, some type of a um, you know uh, I have marked out this um, this trend right here Let's see if I can just make that a bit darker there we go there we go here we go. Okay. Uh, let me get out of these uh, EMAs. Perfect. And uh, what you can see is that, um, you know, even if we even if we are just kind of like chopping our way down, we are getting these weird bounces off of these different diagonal levels, okay? It's not just a support and resistance, it's also these diagonals. And so um, we got a really nice bounce between these two diagonals that I had drawn out here. And uh, we could uh, break down again and then have another uh, nice bounce. Again, guys, like we've had fairly significant bounces off of these lines. And so the dollar could really turn around at any time. We can't just take it for granted that it's just going to fall all the way down uh, to hell. But uh, if it does, uh, that's going to be excellent. So again, just to keep your eye on the dollar, um, while it's pumping, you know, uh, basically the market's probably going to go sideways or down. And if it's uh, dropping, then the market's probably going to be going sideways or up. OK, and so right now it's dropping, but it was uh, pumping earlier this morning, which is why you probably saw that dump on the uh, Bitcoin chart. Right. Because the dollar started to um, pump. And so uh, what did Bitcoin do? It started to dump. Now that the dollar is starting to drop again, what's Bitcoin doing? Oh, it's catching its breath. It's, a, it's bouncing a little bit, okay? So you can see how that uh, inverse, uh, inversely proportional relationship works uh, right there. And then for the VIX, guys, the VIX is also very similar. As long as the VIX continues dropping, uh, then it is uh, good for uh, trading. Uh, if the uh, VIX starts pumping, then that's not good for trading. Uh, you can see that the uh, VIX is actually just a grinding it down. So that does suggest that we are on a good trend. So guys, uh, trend, momentum, volatility, EMAs. We have our risk factors like the dollar and the VIX. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, that was your alpha for the day. Stay safe and happy trading.